Welcome back, Pirates. I'm David. And I'm Eduardo. These are your announcements for March 9th. Palatine's Promise is excited to announce that Dance of Palooza will be on Thursday, April 13th during lunch hours in the cafeteria. If you're interested in trying out to perform in Dance of Palooza, please sign up using the link on the Student Homeroom page. Tryouts will be held Tuesday, March 21st after school in the preschool room. Any boys still interested in joining a spring sport can still come out for boys track and field. See one of the coaches with any questions. Computer Club's first LAN party is today. All are welcome to attend. Attention all actors. Come out to this year's joint auditions for the Goldilocks, the Impossible Story, and the Spring Improv Show. After school, in the auditorium on Wednesday, March 15th. Attention all girls not involved in a spring sport. Girls track and field is still accepting athletes. Practice is held at 3.45 p.m. after school and meets on the second floor Foreign language hallway. Go see Coach Allen, Coach Conway, or Coach Bobbitt in the Special Education Office, or Coach Parks in the Driver's Ed Department with any questions. Future Educators Club is meeting on Monday, March 13th at 7.45 a.m. in the preschool room. The club will be preparing for the Teacher Appreciation Week. There is a mandatory Equality Club meeting this Friday at 7.30 a.m. in room 271. There will be planning for Women's History and the month of April. Bring your friends and we will see you there. The CTTP prize for the month of March is a $25 Starbucks gift card. Simply submit your red tickets to Locker for a chance to win. Drama Club will meet in room 216 after school today. They will give important information about the upcoming auditions for the spring improv show and children's play. And then we will have a workshop on college theater run by a D211 alum. Let's take a quick look at this V-Show video. Hi, I'm Angel Ewald from PTV, and this is Palatine High School's first ever Top That V Show. Our first audition is by a man who thinks his bars are straight fire. Today, our contestant will show our judges how fire his bars are. Tony Milano. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? How are you? Yo, hold on. Let me get this plugged in. So we understand. I think I shorted it out, yo. What's up? So we understand that today you will be help, you will be rapping for the judges. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? We'll be spitting some straight fire for all y'all. Do you think that's all it takes to be in the V show? Yeah, pretty easy, bro. I'm spitting fire. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. Well, good luck out there. Thanks. All right, all right. It's Tony Milano. Here we go. Oh uh, yeah, that way. Oh uh, yeah. This way, um, yeah, yeah, up that way, that way, the Tony way. Friends said they want some beef with me, huh, what? They say they want some beef with me? Oh uh, yeah, that way, SoundCloud Rep G. Hi, I'm Jennifer Woodsy. And I'm Oscar Flores, and uh, we're judges for the PHSV show. And, uh, up first we have Tony Milano with a rap performance. Yes, my name is uh, Mr. Lund, Coach Lund. Um, I'm a V-Show uh, judge and I'm here to see the rap skills of Tony and how he gets down. I'm Mrs. Varela. And I'm Mr. Sconey. And we're going to be judges, judges for, for the, the Palatine High School, School V-Show this, this year. And we're, we're judging Tony Molano. Hi, uh, I'm Mr. Johnson. I'm Mrs. Harris. And we're B Show judges this year, and we're here to judge Tony, Tony Milano. I don't. Uh, that was um. That was interesting. Yeah. Um, very creative, but I'm gonna have to vote no for Tony Milano. Uh, I'm very glad you came out to audition. Uh, hopefully, we'll see you back next year. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, I don't need to see any more. Um, that is two thumbs down, that is. Uh, that's two thumbs down. Oh, yeah. That way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Up that way. That way. Tony 
He's which way? He's like so many different ways. Such a bad way. Yeah, he's in a bad way. Bad beard. No. Glasses. No. Horrible. Bad rapper. No. Terrible. Terrible. Ah. F plus. Terrible. F plus. How does that convert on the 14 point scale? It's still passing. <laughs> That's absolutely terrible. The Tony way. No. No, absolutely not. This is, this is atrocious. <laughs> yeah, it's probably the worst effort at rapping that I think I've ever seen. I mean, by any human. We got to give him a big fat zero. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> There's nothing good going on right there. Sorry, Tony. Sorry, Tony. Yo, what was that, man? I'm spitting straight fire out there. It doesn't happen on my SoundCloud. You know what I'm saying? That way to Tony way. Well, that was certainly something. Anyways, what did you guys think? Was Tony fire or was he horribly burnt out? We want you to top that. See you later. Well, that was certainly something. What did you guys think? Was Tony Yo, great? Yo, what was that? Now, let's head over to James for current events. Thanks, Eddie. As the world moves closer to renewable energy sources and as oil and fossil fuels are seen as non-permanent options, a solar farm in Morocco takes the next big step into an eco-friendly worldwide fuel. In Morocco, they have built a solar panel field as big as Central Park in New York City. Salam, the leader in, of the solar panel field, said our main goal is to, to become energy dependent, but if one day we are producing a surplus, we could supply other countries too. If you think about it, these countries in Africa that get a lot of sunshine could possibly power entire continents. There are also plans to build these gigantic solar fields in Nevada and California where it could power the entire country. Unlike modern day energy, solar energy will never go out. Though we may think this will be far into the future, we may be powering our houses with the sun in the next few decades. Now over to Jake for sports. Thanks James. In sports today, boys gymnastics is at Barrington. Tomorrow, boys water polo begins hosting their invitational meet Girls Track and Field is at York, and Boys Track and Field is at Stevenson. That's it for today, Pirates. I'm Jake Hayes, and I'd like to thank you for watching PTV. Peace out, Pirates.